It's getting a little too cozy in quarantine for some couples. In fact, talk of divorce is becoming dinner table conversation. I'm Chris Spade at Keller Williams Realty. The top things to consider if you're thinking about making the split. so much for checking out my YouTube page. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up to help boost my self-esteem and click that little bell so you can be notified when I drop fresh new content, which is every Tuesday. So lots to consider when it comes to getting a divorce. First, ask yourself if you really should sell the house. Listen, divorce is never fun. And while I've never been through it personally, I can tell you from helping clients, emotions do run high. So get a civil dialogue going with your ex and ask them if the timing is right. Things to think about. How will the assets be split? If you have children, what effect will this have on them? They will likely have something to say about what you're going to go through and you'll want to hear their opinion. Second, should you buy out your spouse? Well, if you can, I say do it, especially if you have kids. Divorce, like we said, never fun, and it's gonna be hard enough on them. Uprooting them from their home is gonna be a whole other level of emotion. You also need to be prepared to take on a whole new mortgage if you keep the home, which will likely be higher, and come with an assessed property value that's new and higher. Can you get yourself off the deed? Now, that's a very easy thing to do to get yourself off the deed. It's just not easy to get yourself off the mortgage. So if you choose to keep the house because you want your kids to stay in the same school, you need to make sure that the spouse staying there can afford the home. If not, and they start missing payments, both your credit scores will drop and have an effect on whether or not you can buy a new house in the future. Now, it's not really a question to consider, but more of a piece of advice. Don't advertise to the public that you're getting a divorce. They might try to smell desperation, and that's never good. When people ask me why you're selling, I simply reply, life changes. We all go through them. It's vague, and no one needs to know the specifics. Now, they may find out down the road that you're going through their divorce if you two start fighting over whether or not to give a credit for silly things like carpet and paint colors, and one of you is refusing. My advice, have a dollar credit amount in mind you're willing to give to the buyer so that way if they ask, you're both in agreement. Come up with that number before the house ever hits the market. Now in California, it's a community property state, so that means in most cases, everything acquired in the marriage gets split 50-50. Houses, assets, debts. There are some exceptions, and that includes property you own prior to the marriage. Now, the best way to protect that property would have been a prenup or a postnup agreement. If you did not do that, you may have to settle it out in divorce court, especially if you can't come to a solution or agreement beforehand. Some other things to consider, sell the house in the spring when more buyers are active. If you can come to an agreement, sell the house before going to court. It's always better not to have the attorneys and judges involved. Also, talk to your tax professional about your capital gains tax exclusion before it runs out. I'm not a tax professional, so I'm not giving you any tax advice here. If you have any questions about selling your home before or during or after a divorce, feel free to reach out to me at 619-818-2992. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.